Well, hello. That's my first video on YouTube, so I want it to be short and I want it to be uh, something that you guys uh, haven't already seen like a thousand times. So here it is. Uh, so mm, the first look, you can say it's a carambit, looks like the other carambit, but then you have this special device, which is what I wanted to entertain you today. And uh, look how it works. It's a trigger, actually. So you put your finger like, the, like you do actually with the carambit, and then you open it like that. And man, is it smooth. It's perfect. So this knife, uh, thanks to Michael Elman in New Mexico, thanks a lot, buddy, for everything, is, uh, I don't know if I'm going to get it here. Uh, come on, man. My first video helped me. Okay, thank you. That's uh, RW, that stands for Riss Wyland, you all know that. Uh, prototype. So the prototype is, you know that Riss does carambit, I mean, uh, uh, everybody knows that. But what is very special is this mechanism. Uh, actually, it's the first time uh, that he does that with this, uh, with this carambit. And uh, I heard that is gonna produce it like uh, for a lot of knives hopefully I mean when you say a lot of knives uh, still respond so here how it works I hope I will be able to show you actually it's very simple it's not an automatic at all it's all mechanic so the trigger works like that so here you all know that it's a nine lock like a lot of knives it engages like percent I'd say okay perfect engagement no blade play at all whatsoever front to front side to side it's all perfect the blade also well, you all know it's with it's always nice blade so uh, the metal is uh, uh, SV S30 V sorry uh, hand rubbed by wrist very very nice shape nice wedge here I mean it's very nice knife and it cuts like hell it's perfect okay the handle is a full piece of titanium very nice nice back spacer i want to say it's also titanium on the back i think it is okay anyways come on it's my first video don't bother me with that you phone Check it okay let's go back to the video so the mechanism I said that I wanted to be short, so let's hope I'm going to be able to be. I'm also filming with my iPhone, I'm speaking English, which is not my mother language, other than French, as you all heard probably. So, you know, a lot of difficulties for me. Okay, so when you push the trigger, you've got here this bar, which goes all around here and pushes, well, I'm sure you, you can't see that possible it's very 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 tiny okay but you, you 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 got what I mean you see so the bar goes up and it pushes the blade there okay so and when you push the blade down okay the bar goes to his blade there okay mm, not mm -hmm. it's not that obvious like that but you got the point you see so it's all mechanical you see you push the blade open so you can open it like that, either way, or it's smooth. I mean, if smooth means something, it would be, you know, for uh, the mechanism of, the, of this knife. Uh, it's, I mean, it, even if I cut my finger like a bitch with a spider co, uh, I can open it, you know, without any strength whatsoever. And uh, it works like magic, you know, it's 100%. I mean, you, you put it in your pocket and whenever you need it, Okay, it's here. Okay. Guys, uh, again, it's my first video. It's in English. It's very difficult for me. I will hope that Riss is going to make a lot of these knives and you will all be able to enjoy as I do because now I've got this knife for, I don't know, I'd say three weeks and it stays with my pocket and it became my EDC. I mean, it can work as an EDC and uh, I can't use anything else than this knife. I mean, uh, it's so funny uh, and it's awesome. And, I mean, you can, uh, it's fun to play. Uh, 
you can do whatever you like with this knife. So I'm gonna stop here because I'm rambling. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope I'm gonna get better with, uh, with time. Uh, but I really wanted the first one to be special and I guess this is a special video with a special mechanism and it doesn't happen every day. You guys enjoy Race Wireland prototype, Carambit. One more time, one last time. In the meantime, you can look at my watch. It's a PAM 217 made in only 1000 uh, pieces. I really love one. This one and the handle, I mean, whoa, <laughs> it's nice. It's made by some guy named Tetsu. You can find it on the internet. I mean, the buckle is crazy. I love it. But let's go back to the knife and just one last time for the pleasure again. Mm. Okay, hope you guys have a nice time and see you later. Bye bye, take care and stay sharp.